Oh, look at this view. Whoa. Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. After riding 3,000 miles across Europe, we are now ready to explore the roads of North Africa. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey around the world and let the adventure begin. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 58 on our around the world trip. We are here on the outskirts of Marrakesh, staying in a little Airbnb. <laughs> we had a really good night because this room has two windows and in the night it was actually nice and cold and we had some wind flow going as well so a natural air condition <laughs> but let me show you guys where we're heading today okay so we are here just on the outskirts of marrakesh and we are going to be heading back over the high atlas mountains stopping off here at imlil before joining back up and continuing our way south to join up with the N10, where we'll be making our way to the city of Tarudant. Now this place, Imlil, is special because it's actually the closest you can get to Mount Tubkal, which is actually the highest mountain in Morocco and the highest mountain in all of North Africa. So we're gonna try and get as close as we can to that so we can get a nice view of it. In total, we have about 160 miles to cover or 255 kilometers. Uh, we woke up quite early today. It's just 7.45. Now we have to set up Bumblebee and then we are ready to hit the road. So let's go. Uh huh, yeah, you're getting there. <laughs> Look at this beautiful breakfast. It's like oil and honey over some traditional breads. Oh, that is beautiful. The mom from Moad and Ahmed is so, so amazing. She gave us some sweets for the road. She's a professional sweet maker. And um, have a look at that. Check that out. How crazy is that? And they just, you know, she just made it for us and Oh, it's just so nice. It's really, really, really nice. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Bumblebee. Oh, it's behind the golden curtain. <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good luck. Nice! Here we go. Ah, ready to hit the road. Yeah, it's 8.30 now. Not bad. It's okay. Not bad. It's already hot though. What's the temperature? 24, so Ooh. it's not it's not crazy, but it's still a warm summer's day. Yes. Even at uh, 8.30 in the morning. Yeah, but luckily we're heading into the mountains, at least for the first half of the day. We will be hopefully a little bit cooler that's true but anyway it's always good to start early in the morning because you can see the traffic is not that crazy exactly we a little bit calmer in the morning isn't yeah, it yeah yeah everybody's not yet uh, fully woken up yet doesn't look like the people are waiting for the cars <laughs> <laughs> they're just going for a day going for it so now we're just going to head out of the city Say goodbye to Marrakesh. Goodbye Marrakesh. And say hello to the Atlas Mountains. Oh yes, we're going back, back up into the mountains now. We have left Marrakesh behind and are entering the High Atlas. And it, the temperature has dropped down a little actually now, 22 degrees as we're climbing up which is absolutely lovely nice and refreshing yeah yeah just getting out the city you already start to get hot even at nine in the morning so it's nice to get out on the open road 
Yes. Climb up a bit. Yeah. And have the cool mountain air. We came off the main road and now we are just heading up to the place Imlil, these windy mountain roads. <laughs> yeah, this is a smaller road. It's like eight, uh, eight miles up this little road to get to Imlil. Oh, hold on a minute, got some trucks talking to each other. starting to get the views now and you can still see a little bit of snow up on the mountains at the top so it looks like even even into the summer you still got a little bit of snow So here is the town of Imlil, we're just coming up to it, and behind us, up ahead, just up there, that little peak bit that you can see, that is Mount Tupkal. Now Imlil, where we are now, is 1,800 meters above sea level, but Tupkal, up there ahead, is 4,167 meters. So that is a pretty tall mountain. Mount Topkal, 4,167 meters! Whee! <laughs> There you go, the tallest mountain in North Africa. I didn't really expect that Morocco had such crazy high mountains actually. I mean 4,167 meters is really really tall actually. So the Atlas Mountains are super impressive, super impressive. Very impressive. So now we're just going to join back up with the mountain pass road that we just came from and make our way over to Tarudant. Lavi and the mountain. <laughs> So now we have about a hundred miles, just over a hundred miles to reach Tarudant, but the GPS is telling us that it's going to take nearly four hours. So I guess it's a hundred miles of windy mountain roads, <laughs> which on a motorbike we are not complaining about.
Okay, we've come across what I think is a landslide because they're clearing the whole thing and they've cut it all away. So I'm pretty sure this was all, this all slid at some point recently. Yeah, I guess the whole cliff just kind of fell away into the valley. Crazy. Yeah. Wow. We're just stopping for a break here. A little water break, a little snack break in the middle of the mountains. Take a look. Nice views for the break. I'm just holding the umbrella because it is, it's a little bit windy. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we have for our snack break? Some bread and cheese. Bread and cheese, of course. More bread. Oh, I left over from Marrakesh yesterday. <laughs> yeah, exactly. As well as some bread. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of bread and a lot of cheese. Yes. If we checked as well a little bit ahead and the road is absolutely crazy. It's just windy, 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 windy. And we're still going over a pass, which is 2,100 meter high. And it's like for the next um, one hour, 45 minutes, just windy, 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 windy. So it will be really tough, but very beautiful as well. Yeah, it's going to be a crazy road. The landscape is opening up and it's just epic in the mountains here. Yeah, it's absolutely incredible. You can see over there like traditional houses and people are around but it looks so remote and in the middle of nowhere as well people are just doing their thing here in the mountains in the hot hot atlas mountains yes yes it's very hot or oh, the bike temperature is 35 it's absolutely insane it's really getting up there now and we did start quite early as well but time has gone on now it's one o'clock wow yeah. and now we're doing what we really don't want to do too much more as we head south which is riding in the afternoon and you can see 35 degrees that's just that's the limit i think yeah i don't think we could ride in much hotter than this that's hot and the road stays windy yeah exactly you can't even get like a huge airflow going you just can't get very fast because there's just too many bends <laughs> yeah oh we're climbing up and up and up which is nice because the air temperature is cooling down a little bit and also the views are just going crazy we're like right right up in the mountains now yeah it looks so picturesque really this road is um, definitely worth <laughs> worth a ride yeah it's a lot of twists and turns yes you have to be patient with it but yes it is worth it in the end yeah yeah but it is absolutely crazy and sometimes a little bit scary <laughs> don't look down <laughs> yes 2100 meters look at that Tizian test the pass <laughs> yeah let's have a look at the view on the other side yes oh look at this view whoa <laughs> wow oh my god wow we got such a massive view in in front that's oh insane wow what an absolutely crazy view <gasps> Wow, that's absolutely an epic view. Yeah, and we've got some epic switchbacks coming, it looks like. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's one crazy crazy view from the pass yeah absolutely crazy and i tell you what this is going to be a pretty hairy way down look at that oh my god the guy at the top told us that it was like seven kilometers 
and then it goes into like a good road with two lanes but yeah we got a crazy way down to do first <laughs> yes wow wow luckily the road is not too busy eh? i don't know how they manage it when the road is busy because i can tell you here's no not enough space for two cars no not like the big trucks that we see going up and down exactly yep they better hope they pass each other in a good place i tell you and then the guy at the top he was saying to us yeah there's some nice dirt roads that you can drive around as well and we were like no 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 no, no. we we had taking a break from dirt roads for a bit after our experience yes. last week oh my god yes Here's Whoa. some goats. Whoa, look at this. Wow. It's such a big view. I can't believe it. Yeah, me too. How flat it is in the middle there, hey? Mm -hmm. Wow. I think that's basically where we're heading down to. Yeah. Wow. Finally on our way down the other side. We still have a few switchbacks, but they aren't as crazy as they were before. And we have two lanes on this road. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> so now we don't have to worry about a truck coming straight for us on every corner. And we still got the awesome views in front as we make our way down into the valley. So yeah, I think it's gonna be plain sailing from here. This is beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> Finally made it into Tarudant after a long, long, long drive. It's now four in the afternoon and we left Marrakesh at around 8.30, 8.45. It took us the whole day. Oh yeah. <laughs> and of course now we're down in the valley again. It's just mad hot, of course. It's uh, 34 degrees, but we are now just one mile from our accommodation for the night and the swimming pool that awaits us there. Yes! Oh, look, here's the uh, walls of the old town. That looks nice. Of the city of Taradant. Wow. Yeah, beautiful. The hotel we are staying at is a Riyadh, so a traditional house and I think it might be in the old town. Yeah. I know we pro promised ourselves to not book any Riyadh <laughs> in old towns again, but... <laughs> yeah, because of that hike we had to do into Fez and yeah. to car carry all our stuff in and it just took so much time and it was just a lot of effort yeah but uh yeah i think actually we have booked a place inside the old town again yeah but it was an amazing deal on booking.com and they gave us like a room upgrade and a discount and everything and it ended up to be only like 20 euro or 22 euro per night yeah instead of 40 and i think bre breakfast is included as well so breakfast is included that's pretty good we're just living the high life now <laughs> yes. this is it i'm a luxury guy now mm -hmm. this is what i need swimming pool you know room service breakfast in bed anyway look we are actually heading now in 
so let's check it out but our place is really not far it's like 0 0.2 miles that's good okay it says turn left at the alley it says oh yeah how about <laughs> okay and now it says ah it says right in here no way um, hold on a second hmm just gonna do a little turn around it's gonna go around here okay all good to the left yeah and then I'm just gonna go along and the Riyadh should be if I go left at the end here and then left again we should be there yeah look at this driving in the old town eh? <laughs> not bad Ooh. Oh, bit of a step Hoop. Hoop. sort of says down here no yeah it does say it's down there yeah okay I think that's okay yep Riyadh bin Yara there it is oh perfect look at that we drove right up to it nice good evening guys look what we have here <laughs> we already went for a swim when we arrived straight <laughs> away so we have arrived at our place for the next couple of days it's called Riyadh Ben Yara and it's just epic look at this the big big palm here in the middle that's crazy that's amazing. Yeah, so it's another traditional Riyadh, just like we had in Fez. It was a really hairy ride today. I'm glad that we made it happy and alive. Yeah, it was a bit longer than we were actually expecting, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> it just kept going on and on and turn and turn and turn and turn. And then there was the sun and the heat and it's getting super hot these days. So it was like, whew, yeah, it was on the limit of, mm -hmm. of, uh, of the sweatiness, I can tell you that. But the ride was definitely worth it. It was absolutely stunning, like the landscapes and the mountains and the people and just everything about it it was amazing yeah it's always beautiful to ride in the mountains with bumblebee it's yes. just amazing <laughs> so that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the episode if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel comments below share with your friends and family we will see you next time